Welcome to the new 92.5 Fresh FM. Among Chorus Entertainment's commercial radio holdings is what is now branded 92.5 Fresh FM, formerly Joe FM, previously Power 92, originally King FM. A format change intended to drive ratings and naturally advertising revenue and profits. Greg Johnson is the overseer of those changes. For Fresh FM, we're looking for adults, and we want to talk to, to those adults in the market. So we don't want to be the station that's catering to, to the kids. We're a hot adult contemporary radio station, which is a scientific way of saying uh, we play hits for adults. Yeah, yeah. Over and over and over again, we blame all. The ratings weren't there. The station was underperforming for quite some time, so there was the necessity for change. We talk to you know, radio listeners all the time in this market. They were dissatisfied with some of their choices, and they wanted a fresh approach to radio. Their music and demographics changed, not the on-air personalities. He might actually be working. No, he can't. There he is. Yeah, give us a wave. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's actually on the radio right now. They hate it when you do this. They hate it. It was never a people <laughs> issue. We have great talent. We have such a solid a lineup, and everyone's back, uh, starting with Jalen Nye and Johnny Sullivan in the morning, uh, who are just fantastic. And, and uh, you know, we're lucky to still have in the midday from 10 until 3, Derek Allen, and, and in the afternoon with Alex Hindmarch, and uh, the evenings and the weekends with Andrea Taylor and, and Taylor Smith. Four. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Seven people you'll meet in the gym go as this. And by the way, if you are still at the gym, good for you. Don't give it up. It's only going to get easier. Always the, the trends is what you're looking for, uh, the long-term trends to see how you're succeeding and, and growing ultimately. But again, the ratings that we have in Edmonton allow us monthly report cards to see how our audience is, how, the track, how we have traction within the marketplace. So we are able to, to tweak and respond as we see fit. It's a lot of uh, analyzing the trends and the data. Um, musically speaking, you know, watching the charts and, and ensuring that we're playing the right music that the marketplace is asking for. Some of the biggest artists uh, we're playing right now would be uh, your artists like Moon 5, uh, Pink, Train, uh, Kelly Clarkson, uh, Adele. This is one of the toughest radio markets there is, isn't there? Uh, considering how many stations there are in this uh, population belt. In, indeed, when it comes to radio, um, I, I, we do say this is per capita the most competitive radio market in North America. So everybody's trying to get an edge, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now he's like a caged animal in his natural habitat. Look at him. But you radio guys are fun. Uh, I'd like to think so. Yeah. There is always pressure, but a lot of it, I feel, you know, is it can be self-induced. We're all, we're all performers, and we 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 want to win. Now in its fourth incarnation since the early 1980s, Fresh 92.5 FM success level will yet to be determined. I'm Tim Dancy.